That's not going to work. It seems like nobody wants to rent these days. It seems like every week an influencer wants to give you life advice without acknowledging the privileges that enable them to become rich and famous. Remember, a snake will always be a snake. Don't be upset when it bites you. Be disappointed that for your likes, followers and viewership, you've turned them into the queen of the internet. It should not come as a surprise, but we're going to break down Kim's controversial commentary from the Variety interview and why it's just false. I'm going to use my home state to explain this. So in the state of Illinois, minimum wage is 12 bucks an hour. In the city of Chicago, it's 13. On top of that, within the city of Chicago, the average price for studio apartment is two grand a month. Now, obviously, with it being an average, there are things that are lower, things that are higher, but this is the average. With a minimum wage job in Chicago, before taxes, this is how much money you take home every month means most people, if they do not have a job that pays them enough to live off of, which many people don't, they are working two to three jobs just to meet ends, make ends meet. It's been a rising issue in this country for years and has only been exacerbated by the pandemic. People can't afford to live. We do not have an unemployment problem. We have a wage problem in this country. In fact, this U Chicago study found that 40% of unsheltered homeless people were employed. I know it's been highly taken out of context, but Kim K is now really the time. The minimum hourly wage is barely enough to cover a tank of gas right now in a lot of places. Like people can't even afford to go to their jobs. Like healthcare workers have been getting up every day, working as hard as they possibly can, harder than they should in unsafe conditions under exploitative institutions. So far, all we've gained is some rocks, a little bit of juven, a pay cut instead of a raise somehow. Oh, and a bucket load of trauma we're trying to process. An ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. You That's have to. So true. At this point, it's starting to feel like they're doing it on fucking purpose. Are you that fucking out of touch that you don't realise what you're saying is extremely patronising and fucking condescending and makes light of lots of people's fucking situations? It just feels like nobody wants to work anymore. And then your mum's in the background going, that's such so a That's such so a Have a fucking day off and shut up. Get your asses to work. Get your asses to work so you can buy more skins. So you can make the bitch that's not lazy more rich. Get your lazy, stupid asses to work that don't want to achieve nothing. Y'all don't want to achieve nothing. We'll keep doing whatever the fuck you're doing so you can pay for skins. Pay for skins and buy more skins. I have the best advice for women in business. Get your fucking ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. You That's have to, so true. You have to surround yeah. yourself with people that want to work. Have a good work environment where everyone loves what they do because you have one life. No toxic work environments and show up and do the work. If you're the